You're listening to the March 3rd, 2020 reading of Blossom Goodchild's Channeling with the Federation of Light. Hi there, good beings. I thought I'd try and fit one more channeling in before my Hawaii adventure at the end of the week. Just moved into our new house, so there's very little time before I go. Everywhere I go, I hear people speaking of the coronavirus, and I hear the word scary. So, it is doing what it was designed to do. Do you have any more to say on it? Welcome, one and all, and indeed to you, Blossom Goodchild. Why the formality? Because, like everyone else, we think it is a lovely name. Thank you. It took me a couple of marriages to get it. (laughs) If I had a dollar for every time I've been told that, I'd be a very rich woman. It has great resonance. Unlike the virus. Shall we? Indeed. This concoction is causing great havoc all around and affecting individuals as well as large and small businesses. It is as you say, from the point of view of its creators, doing exactly as was arranged. For it is not so much the intensity of the virus and what it does, as in effect, it is no more deadlier than many such concoctions before it. Yet it is the disruption to all that is causing the panic and fear. And it appears to be working. We can only state that, as an individual with choices, it is advisable to remain calm and not fall into the overstated hype that is being addressed with. We have asked you in these times to listen to your truth. If you hear scare tactics on your media, then release them from your energy. If you hear scaremongering from your everyday chit-chat with another, choose to block it, or indeed silence them, or alternatively attempt to console. Happily doing that. Yet there's no denying cancellations of every kind are causing mayhem on the planet, as the fear of contracting the virus and the restrictions quarantines put in place are sending businesses under and all sorts of chaotic goings on. This, dearest Blossom, is exactly part of that which we have been speaking to you about for a long while. It is part of the upheaval that is occurring, and we would say there is plenty more where that came from, in many different guises. This is not to say that we are fear-mongering. This is to prepare you as we trust we have been doing, to hold on to your hats, One thing shall lead to another and another, and it is for each one to play their part in keeping the home fires burning, so to speak. Probably not the most appropriate way of putting it, considering my home being Australia and all the fires there have been. Perhaps yes, a little tactless. Yet the intention was to uplift and ask one to remain strong. Someone asked how you are able to know what is about to happen. It works for us in many categories. Energetically, we can predict disruption, etc., that lies in wait. Yet we also have our sources that provide us with more down-to-earth acknowledgement of what is up one's sleeve. However, this is not to say that it is completely accurate. For all choices by each individual can change the pathways of outcome at any given time. So that must be very intricate to actually say that this, that or the other is going to take place. Regarding something as enormous as that which is happening upon your planet, we would say that the monitoring of possibilities is scrutinized deeply in order to follow through with the actual physical material movement of thought. Therefore, those whose plans are to disrupt and destroy are continuing to comply with their chosen plan and very much desire to see it through. Yet I thought you said the darker ones have fallen and the light has won. It has, 
without question. Then how come they're winning through with the virus and all that is to be presented to us in ways of upheaval? It may seem a little difficult to understand, Blossom. Yet, protocol in this situation must be in place in order for things to be played out, in order for matters to be notified, in order for the end result by, from, the good guys to flow according to the plans in place. So, it's essential for the shift to hit the fan. If we understand correctly, yes. At the end of last year, there were certain arrests made, and I believe others now in high places are being caught out. You said this was the opening of a vast can of worms, and although it would take time, little by little, more and more would be revealed. This is so. This is what is taking place. So, where does the coronavirus fit in with all of this? In its place, Blossom. Two out of ten for that answer, guys. Although others may say differently. Yet, understand that we simply find it unethical and dangerous for you to reveal too much to you. There are those who do not wish too much to be sought out too soon. On the side of the good, the bad, or the ugly. The side of the good cannot reveal or uncover that which is to be revealed and uncovered before the correct time. We can only ask you to prepare in strength and light and in the absolute certainty of who you are, with no doubts and fears and distractions attached. The side of the bad do not wish any leakage of plants, for this could disrupt greatly and also, as we say, be seriously dangerous to the ones speaking out ahead of time about something they should not know. Well, the more cowardly part of me agrees with you then. <laughs> Keep it under your hat and then hold on to it. So, discarding the ugly, what can you say of how you see the journey of the virus in the future? There will be no antidote offered. Yet, as it dies down, and it will, and everyone will move on to the next fear-mongering show, there will probably be vaccines offered to prevent this from occurring again. We do not feel it necessary for those who follow our words to explain any more about that. For you are all aware and wise enough by now to follow your heart and understanding on that matter. Yet such a shame for all the disruption caused. I feel you'd like to use the expression, you ain't seen nothing yet which isn't very promising. Dearest Blossom, and all on board this whirling ship, if you look back on all we have offered you in our knowledge of how to continue to lift up your planet, we have, for so long, advised you of this that is to come. We, of course, would love to say to you that what lies immediately ahead is all tickety-boo, as you would say, Blossom. Yet that would not be our truth. For it is so that the troubles upon your earth plane are to increase greatly, and there will be much turmoil. This is not new news from us. This is why we have come, to prepare the way for you. And the way ahead is doing exactly what you signed up to do when you volunteered to change Mother Earth back into her glorified being of light, allowing her to present to you that which you have forgotten in ways of beauty upon her body. You, dearest ones, although you cannot remember in your mind, can remember in your soul that you were so eager to come and so delighted to be chosen. You knew of all this that is to come. You knew it would be so difficult to keep your flames aglow. You knew that this time would be a time of great disruption. 
You knew your soul would at times feel empty. You knew sometimes you would feel like you wanted to remove yourselves. You knew there would be times when you had no strength left. You knew there would be times when you felt you could not go on. You knew, you knew, you knew all of this. And yet each one of you were almost scrambling over each other to get it to the front of the queue because you were so determined that you could do it and that you could see this through. You knew. You knew. You knew. So, we ask that in your moments of deep breathing, in your moments of, I am the light, I am the love, I am, that you give gratitude for being one of the chosen ones. So many were not. Tap into that knowingness. It is ever flowing with energy and love for you from all those who remained off planet. They are there to serve you, to assist you in so many ways. When you feel like giving up, feel blessed for being chosen. For dearest, most enlightened souls who now walk gallantly ahead in these times, you knew also why. You knew that as you march onwards in your light love, you are one step closer with each breath you take to residing in the new land, the land of the free. And it is you, each one who feels that they are weakened in these times, that shall continue on, that shall keep on keeping on, because within the depths of your being, you know that when this is over, the life you will experience, the living of life as it was meant to be in joy, will be worth every single breath that was out of sorts with this knowingness. You are light. You are love. You are nothing else than I am. Thank you so much, chaps. I really felt your energy and your intent from this pep talk. Chat again when I return, end of March, beginning of April. We look forward to it. In gratitude, in loving service, I am. <laughs>